Hey, a pleasant good evening, everybody. This is Sports Fanatic News. I'm Joe Borek. I hope you're all having a good day. If you enjoy the content and have not already, a special thanks to the 162 that have subscribed already. Please consider subscribing. But let's get right into it. Wade Davis decided to announce his retirement from the game of baseball. After having a pretty darn productive career, 63-55, 3-9-4, really turning his career when he became a relief pitcher particularly a relief pitcher, as he had two all-star appearances with the Kansas City Royals and also pitched good for them um, in the 2014 season as well when he was actually went to a 9-2 and record but did not make the all-star team in that particular season, even though in the 2014 season he had an ERA plus, as I get it here, of 396 according to baseball reference. But uh, he made the All-Star game three years in a row, from 15 to 17, two years with the Royals in 15 and 16, and then the year with the Cubs in 17. So this guy, in the peak of his career, from pretty much the 2014 season through the 2017 season, was one of the best relief pitchers in baseball. So that was a really good stretch. He's obviously not a guy that's going to be a Hall of Famer, but he was a hell of a reliever for that stretch, and he had a hell of a career to be able to highlight, especially coming up big for the Cubs um, in 2017 and coming up huge um, in 2015 um, when he came to the Kansas City Royals. And he, of course, was on the team where he actually, it says in the Cy Young, came in eighth. He, of course, was on the team that the Royals won, obviously, the World Series. Um, so, Wade Davis, in my opinion, he's a guy that was kind of underrated in his career since he emerged so late. He didn't emerge until you look, he was a former starter that was turned into a reliever. He um, really emerged when it came to pitching once he moved to the bullpen at the age of 28. So then he kind of got overlooked by some in the baseball sphere, especially as fans, not necessarily analysts. And um, he was somebody that really did get overlooked a bit and really deserves to be touted for what he was able to do from 2014 through 2017. He came in um, six in the Cy Young in that 2015 season um, when he was able to pitch very well as well. So in the 2014 season, he was um, eighth in the Cy Young. And in the 2015 season, he was sixth in the Cy Young. So he was a very consistent pitcher in his career, three straight All-Star games. Once he moved to the pen, he didn't have the best finish, obviously. He was still all right with Colorado in 18 with a 4-1-3. Then he kind of hung on maybe a little bit too long, a guy that hung on after he didn't necessarily have it, 8 6 5 Two one e seventy in the shortened season, then a six seventy five. So it was obviously time for him to hang up the cleats. But he did have a very great stretch there, and he deserves to be touted for that. So hats off to Wade Davis for having a hell of a stretch, helping the Kansas City Royals obviously win a World Series, and also obviously as well helping the Cubs. Um, oh no no, he was on the Royals that season. Excuse me, he came on the Cubs in the next season. But he helped the Kansas City Royals win a World Series and helped the Cubs to a good season in a hell of a campaign getting to the All-Star Game in 2017, the year after they beat the Indians in the World Series, who are now, of course, the Cleveland Guardians. Everybody have a great, safe, and pleasant day. Thanks for watching the content. If you enjoy the content, please consider subscribing. As I said on the Easy Use widget above or on the subscribe button down below. Peace out, everybody. Stay safe and hats off to Wade Davis for a hell of a stretch during the prime of his career from his for him, which was a late blooming prime, age twenty eight season through his age thirty one season, where he pitched very well as a reliever converted from a starter. Peace out everybody.